Okay, folks, so today we're going to be discussing the dark side of growing orchids. And we're really going to be talking about a topic that many of us don't even like to discuss or even think about because it is quite a nightmare and a horrid thought that our orchids could actually be susceptible to things that are not curable and also to things that can be highly contagious to your other orchids. Okay, so about two weeks ago, we did a very thorough inspection on my orchids. And unfortunately, we did discover some very bad news. I noticed that a couple of my orchids actually were susceptible to some form of rotting that was going on. But even with the horrid discovery of this rotting that was going on, I still did not want to give up hope because as you guys know, I truly, truly adore each and every one of my orchids, of which I'm sure you guys can relate to the feeling because I know you guys also love your orchids as well. So it wasn't that easy for me to give up hope. And thus, our rescue mission began. And here we are, folks, two weeks later with our attempted rescues of the Dendrobium nobly, also our Brassavilla nodosas, and this Cattleya right here. So today I'm going to be showing you exactly what we did and what has transpired now. And two of the most severe rotting was actually this Cattleya right here and also this Brassavola. And because the infection and the rotting was taking place at such a rapidly dangerous rate and the rotting was so scary and so brutal, I really wanted to take extra precautionary method because I did not know what was going on and I did not know if these infections were contagious. So I had to find a way to isolate them. And if you watched my other video, I show you exactly how to make these rescue terrariums that are really, really good to isolate your orchids off. And then after that, I went ahead and took these inside of the house just to make sure that they were not around my other orchids because I definitely did not want to pose any type of risk or any type of infections to my other orchid collection. And these rescue terrariums right here are very easy to make using these soda bottles. So if you guys did not see that video, I will include it in the annotation and also in the description so you guys know exactly how to make them for yourselves if you would like to try this method on rescuing your orchids and encouraging growth. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Cattleya right here. And I'm not going to take this Cattleya out of this terrarium. Again, I don't want to expose this to my other orchids. But if we take a real close look, folks, you see that blackening? You see that rotting? There was absolutely nothing we could do in this case. Even after we disinfected it and we put our treatment on it and really gave it a good start or a good chance to survive, it still was not enough. This orchid was just too susceptible or had been too infected by whatever was going on in it. So indeed, in this case, it did not survive. The bulbs are totally blackened. One of the leaves had actually fallen off. I mean, it was just... It was a losing battle here, folks. And yeah, this is a sad ending to this rescue mission. But folks, of course, you guys know sometimes it happens. In a case like this, if you guys encounter this situation and you're noticing some very severe rotting, Please take the extra precautionary method if you do want to attempt to save it by enclosing it, keeping it isolated, and definitely not allowing it to give it the possible chance of infecting your orchid. I think that is the most important part of trying to rescue this orchid. Now, in this case, folks, you see what it is. There is no use in trying to rescue it any further, and this is going to be a throwaway case, unfortunately. But we tried all that we could and that's all we could do folks so at least we get a thumbs up for trying to save our beloved orchid okay folks and this is our brassa vola nodosa and i'm not going to take her out either she's still in quarantine as well even though she has better news on her folks because no other rotting has taken place on this brassa vola 
and if we take a very close look I don't know if you can see through here but if you can you are seeing some root growth that's happening right there folks and right here also folks you are seeing that new growth that's coming about so she has new roots and also that new growth so indeed she definitely looks like she's doing very well and here folks I really want to show you some Brassava Lindidosas that are blooming for me now and aren't they gorgeous and their fragrance are even more gorgeous than the blossom so indeed it's definitely worth trying to save this orchid and this is our Dendrobium nobly right here and as you guys know I had to make a cut on her right here and if we take a close look at this time we are not noticing any further rotting that's going on where we made that cut so good news for that but as you guys know we did have to make another cutting and that right there is not the actual original cutting because the cutting where I originally made it actually did promote or did get some more rotting in the stem so what I had to do was cut it yet again this is the second time I cut it so indeed for this one right here it's a big question mark at this point I'm really going to keep this isolated and really gonna have to continue to monitor this orchid right here and guess what folks if it actually rots again and goes down further I'm gonna give it a big thumbs down in the regards of it being savable and I just don't want to take any further chances I will throw this out if I notice some more rotting going on with this so that is the conclusion of our rescue attempt right here, folks. This is such a sad case, and I know many times we will encounter different types of sicknesses within our orchids. And it's one thing that we have to take note of when it seems to be very, very severe, what actions we are going to decide to take, whether or not we want to save them, or whether or not we just don't want to take that risk. Now, folks, if you notice some very severe reactions or very severe things going on with your orchid, that you really are very very concerned about because not only can it be rotting or fungus infections you can also be dealing with something called a virus and viruses are very very scary and the scariest part about them is not only are they contagious but there is no cure now what i want to suggest to you if you do notice an orchid that has just a severe casing of perhaps discoloration or some sort of patterns that are on the leaves circular patterns mosaic patterns discoloration in the flowers blackening in the flowers or the foliage system just things that are just really not right with your orchid and you really think it could be something else such as a virus there are ways that you can test your orchid for viruses you can actually order home kits that are very convenient and you can take those tests on your orchids at home now also if you want to there are certain companies that you can also send off a sample of a cutting of the foliage to that actual company and they will actually do the test for you so those are the two things that you can do if you think that your orchid is infested with a virus now I myself have never done the orchid strip test for viruses and I never sent my orchids out for testing at another company so I really can't give you any more information other than what I've already given you but I do want to suggest and refer you to someone that can and that is Miss Orchid Girl she actually has a whole lot of videos on orchid viruses that are very informative and something that I believe we as orchid growers all of us should know so definitely I will post her link also in the description so you can check her out and again it's very very important for us to know although we don't want to think about it but in case we encounter it we will be ready we will be prepared and we will know exactly what to do and with that being said folks I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another orchid adventure with me Maria Young and of course, if you guys like this video, please be sure to give it two thumbs up. And if you want to stay tuned to the latest and greatest adventures, please be sure to subscribe. And if you want to contact me via snail mail, you can do that as well at the following address below. 
And of course, folks, if you guys want to also follow me on my Facebook adventures, I would really appreciate it if you followed me at My Orchid Adventures on Facebook. Again, I thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.